Alright guys, time for mission number three of the Rebel Alliance storyline. Pilot journal, entry 33 and 3. Asteroids are cold and lonely places. Not anywhere I'd go willingly. Especially not an asteroid stocked with Imperial troops. Nevertheless, Leia's strike force set out for the stronghold in their transports, aiming to recapture the Vornatu artifact at any cost. Rumors of Darth Vader spread among the crews, that Vader had been dispatched by the Emperor to retrieve the valuable item. I never put much stock in rumors, but you can never dismiss them completely. Sounds like a fear tactic, maybe planted by the Imperial spies. All right, I'm not sure how we got the transports. I guess, uh, I guess the rebellion sent some to pick us up. Ichu was reflective as we departed Krant. Leia had suggested that he remain to protect the people of Krant, that she could secure the Vornatu by herself. He replied that he had no choice but to face his destiny. The Empire had chosen Geddes, a large asteroid in the Kron Drift, to base a secret research facility. When the Vornatu was discovered, it was sent to Geddes to await transport back to Coruscant. Find out where the Empire is holding the Vornatu, then seize it and escape on your rebel transport. Meet with Adichitik's Wookiee troops. Interesting. Okay, we'll have some Wookiees to help us out. That, of course, is Chewbacca's father from the tutorial mission. Find where the Empire is keeping the Vornatu, and Princess Leia, 3PO, and Ichu must survive. So I wonder if it's still here, or if it'll be in another mission. Alright, so a direct frontal attack, though possible, may not be the best choice. The base is still under construction. Look for a hole in its outer defense. Okay, very good intelligence. Kind of like the uh, second Death Star, although... That proved to be faulty intelligence. Hopefully this one is not. It may be advantageous to split up your forces. Have one cause a diversion at the front gate while the other attacks from the rear of the base. Maybe. And once again, the Empire has twisted his army's will to the dark side. Okay. So the base is directly south. And they're using it for military research. Perhaps you can make use of whatever they developed. Hmm. Princess, another spaceship is landing beyond the ridge. It is a Wookiee transport. I thought we might need some help on this operation. So I sent a transmission to my old friend Adichitik. He's a very powerful Wookiee chief. Out of tension. All right, let's go get some Wookiee assistance here. Explosive droids, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I have to keep an eye out for them. Atachidic sends his greetings. He says he's ready. Let's go then. I'm guessing Atachidic must survive indeed. Okay. So I kind of remember this one very, very vaguely, obviously. And I kind of remember it maybe being a little bit harder. We do have a lot of heavy troops now, so that's good. And we have a scout. All right, let's take him around first. Don't want to wait too long, though, because I don't want them to build up too many forces. Okay, so we have mech destroyers, but not really any strike mechs. So that could be bad. Um, Adichik is a pretty good warrior, as is Ichu, so we'll take them. Let's actually put these guys in the transports. I almost want to just leave them like up here, but I don't want them to be destroyed, so... I might regret this, we'll see. So ours are a little more upgraded than theirs are. So there's the main force here. Some little lakes of water. I want to be a little bit careful with this scale, because I do want to find that back entrance. There are some deactivated explosive droids in that supply yard. Each you can convert and reactivate them. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's kind of go over to this side next, see what's going on. So I guess they're down here. All right, well. Okay, so you want to make, let's make these two group one. I'll make you guys two, three, four, five. But I want all of you to kind of march down here maybe. Um, I'm debating about that other strategy they talked about, about having a diversion. So what's our goal here? Is to defeat the Vornatu. Um, I mean, or to, to capture the Vornatu. Would it be in a Sith Temple? 
Maybe I need to find the research center. It makes sense to find the research center. Since this is a research facility. It's so slow. Um, hmm. Because the only reason it really makes sense to have a distraction is if you're going to, like, just zoom in there and, you know, assault it all at once, go straight for the research facility, which is not my usual style. I'm usually more of a slow, methodical kind of guy. But, um, I don't know. Definitely wouldn't want any of the heroes with the distraction. I also feel a little bad about, like, sending some troops in with the distraction. I'm nervous. There's going to be turrets heroes, aren't there? Oh, maybe not. Whoops. Okay, so there are troops, though. So, okay, this is the back side of the base, which we can sneak in a little bit better. I think I might just have all of our folks come around this way. So it's not defended by a wall and turrets and a gate, but it is defended by, I guess, one turret and some troops. I guess the idea is if you come in by the front, they're going to keep coming from the back to attack you. But if you come in this way, you can take out a lot of their sources a lot of the sources of their troops right off the bat. Our pummels are so slow though. All right, well we thank that Wookiee Scout for his brave sacrifice. With the intelligence he provided, we should be able to win this battle and maybe uh, take one first step towards turning the tide of this war. Not quite clear what the Vornatu does, but if it's a Jedi artifact, we don't want it falling into the Emperor's hands. Might make him and Vader even more powerful, or... I don't know. I really have no idea what it does. It's, like I said, it's been 10 to 15 years, probably maybe even more than that since I played this game, or this campaign last. All right, so let's kind of have the Pummels go in. F I don't want them to go in first, though. The artillery can maybe kind of go in. Oh, okay, we have... ATPTs, so let's have the troops kind of retreat. Take out the destroyers. And then our troops can come in. And take out their troops. Where's that it should have got? These are against Mex as well. Oh, C three P already. C I knew that was a bad idea. Yeah, let's bring in the pummels and start taking things out. Yeah, okay, back up, back up. Two. All you guys in kind of defensive mode here. Take out that power core. Oh, the explosive droids, that's right. Hey, we got some nerfs. Oh, nice. Can't really use the nerfs because this is not a base mission, but don't attack those guys. Oh, these things are awesome. Is that it should have? I want you to guard the way there. Now let's keep these swell. Where are my pummels at? Oh, I do have three of these still. You guys get up here in defensive position. You two as well. On my way. Alright, let's just use these guys up, why not? We always have the pummels to start going in. Yeah, you 
back up a bit. Oh, we didn't quite take out the uh, troop center with those explosive droids. Uh, maybe you two can attack this thing. Seven plus one is the range, ours is nine, so we can. Sweet. Those are getting shot by the turret. Alright, these things are pretty sturdy though. As is added shit, so I'm not super worried. Each you don't worry about that for now. Once the turret's defeat, I'll send those two guys after it. He's still doing okay. Let's get that power core gone. Okay, nice. Ooh, there must be another no, I think that came from that troop center. It's okay, move the line up a bit. Okay, you three can go on this. And if you want to protect him, that'd be good. She may be taking out the uh, power core, the mech factory, I don't know. Probably grew up a little bit more. Alright, as long as they're attacking the hero characters, we're good. You guys can probably move in now. And you two as well. And yes. Command center down there, I'm not to worry about that. Alright, now we're doing some damage. This pummel is uh, seen better days, but that's okay. Get you to help out. You can take out that turret. Alright, nice. Yeah, let's just take off this mech factory so we don't get attacked from behind. Slowly but surely. Bring our nerfs with us. We'll save the nerfs. Objectives have changed. Um, oh, just the optional thing. Okay, cool. Let's just do a quick save since this is going pretty well. This is what, mission number three, I think? 3A. We did lose some troops off the bat, but uh, overall it's not, not been too bad. Where? Oh, sorry, not you. There are strange readings coming from inside. Sorry if you guys can't hear them, but I don't want to make the sound effects of the game itself too low, so... Um, but there are subtitles up here if you haven't noticed them. Alright, this is a cool little mission. I don't know if there's any more to it than this. Probably not. I do remember the Vorna 2, I think is like a holocron. At least how it presents itself in this game. Uh, yeah, destroy the Sith Temple. That's what I figured. Being attacked by Gettys Ware. Ooh. I don't see anyone attacking us. Lay and 3PO are still looking inside their transports. There we go. Let's grab the Vorna 2. So, okay, let's see. Back to the Rebel transport. Alright, let's come out the way we came then. Hopefully we don't get ambushed, because obviously that's one of our strongest characters, so... You guys guard him. And... Maybe you three can now do like a retroactive distraction here. Take out some of these turrets. Although I think at this point we've pretty much just decimated the entire base. Definitely makes more sense to go in by this side though, because um... 
One, you don't have to waste time destroying walls and gates and getting shot at all the meanwhile. And two, you can destroy their infrastructure, all their troop centers and mech factory is a lot quicker. All right, so... Yeah, I'm not really quite sure respect your authority. what the deal is here. I guess we just walk all the way back. Once we destroy these turrets, I'll... Oop, I don't need to destroy the gate. I don't see any reason for that. I guess I could have probably just waited until these guys destroyed the gate and then gone around this way. Might have been a little bit faster. Hard to tell. Take out their command center just so they can't rebuild. And maybe these two can finish the gate just in case there's any reason to, but I don't see why there would be. Ichu is going an interesting route here. I like Adichek's bright red cape. It makes him easy to find in a crowd. And I guess they'll bring some rebel transports because I see their faction. Ooh, and Darth Vader. Uh oh. This should be interesting. I just noticed the other faction there. I don't know if you guys might have already been uh, astute enough to notice that. Maybe I should have hit it by uh, going to this menu or something. But you have desecrated my Sith temple. How did you escape the purge, Jedi? Princess Gold. I won't leave you, Ichu. I will always be with you. It had to be broken apart. It was too powerful for one Jedi to possess. For that, you will pay dearly. Bit of an Obi-Wan moment there. When I was a child, I was told the Jedi were a myth. Just a story. Ichu Shen John was no myth. These valiant Jedi seemed destined to sacrifice their lives in pursuit of their ideals. But his death was not in vain. The Voronatu was now shattered and useless to the Emperor. Or so we all thought. So I guess Ichu broke it? Or had the Empire already broken it? Not really clear, but I'm sure we'll find out a little bit more of the story in the next mission. Alright, so we lost 13 units, which of course is always sad, but uh, they lost 59, many times more. We turned one of those droids, of course. Alright, well, that's mission number three. I will see you guys back here soon for mission number four.